Okay, take two. This is a uh, test of uh, the MIA Microflight teetering or fully articulated rotor head for uh, small radio control auto gyro. This is uh, basically one of the later setups and models. And I'm pretty happy with the uh, the final design of the uh, this particular head and blades. More important is the blade design than the actual teeter uh, portion of this uh, mechanism. Through uh, serious tests and experiments, I have uh, discovered that the uh, the actual shape, rigidity, weight, and the amount of tip weight that it's uh, placed on the blade plays an important role in providing a uh, smooth, easy to rotate, and easy to control. As you can see, I'm tipping the uh, the rotor head with my hands to mimic the uh, direct con direct control of the uh, of the servos on the head. Most teeter heads do not work because the rotor blades are too light or do not have the right amount of uh, incidence or tip weight uh, or actual uh, rigidity of the blade. When you control the blade, they tend to lose speed. When you lose speed, you lose uh, lift and uh, auto gyro tends to come down pretty hard on either side depending on the rotation of the rotor head depending on the uh, direction of rotation of the rotor head. As you can see this particular rotor head we're testing it under a fan. This is not a uh, wind tunnel but it, uh, it's a very easy way to simulate and get an idea of how a particular rotor head is going to function. If you have a similar fan, this is an air conditioning fan, uh, compressor fan that I'm using to rotate and you can see I'm putting it near the center of the fan which allows the, the blades to spin a, a little bit faster. If this was a uh, if this uh, if the air coming out of the fan was uh, going through a series of uh, uh, tubes or, or uh, square matrix you would have a little more direct control of the airflow this is turbulent air but it's good enough to get an idea of lift yeah I can I can feel the road ahead trying to lift out of my hand and I can see how stable this becomes when I jiggle this or tilt it it wants to self-stabilize by itself and that's basically what you want in a teeter head design. I'm pretty confident this teeter head is going to perform quite nicely on some of my uh, auto gyro designs that I've been showing in uh, YouTube in, and in RC groups. You can almost hear the uh, swoosh that the blades make when they spin up fast enough. This blade needs a little tweaking here. It's a little bit off balance and I think that has to do with the uh, incidence angle on one of the blades. This particular head I made it so that I can adjust the angle by hand. It's made out of fiberglass and some uh, Mia Microflight Bumblebee rotor, uh, uh, small micro helicopter rotor head parts. The teeter is the standard teeter. Let me stop this and we can see how this teeters. And that's the amount of teeter that you have basically on the on the rotor head it's going through a set of ball bearings nothing special there uh, the uh, the trick is basically in the blade design this is a uh, blade design which I will later on I will uh, indicate uh, in more detail how I assemble the blade and what makes this particular blade work so well um, I don't have to pre-rotate it just a little mild breeze. This of course is putting out a little more more air but I'm not totally in the center of the fan just to get it going. It's very easy to rotate and once you get it rotating it maintains speed and that's basically what you want in a teeter, teetering head or fully articulated. Fully articulated with no dampening whatsoever. This has no dampening, no rubbers. Uh, rubber stoppers or foam uh, stoppers or foam dampening devices on the head. 
it's able to pivot freely laterally on the center of the rotor head and what provides the damping is basically the, the tip weights and the actual blade design this blade, this blade even though it looks flat it's not totally flat and there are some tricks that I'm employing here to make this blade work uh, the way it's working so that uh, pretty much completes this uh, test and I wanted to uh, demonstrate the uh, the workings of a uh, what in my opinion is a uh, is an efficient teetering head by efficiency I mean it's able to rotate freely it's able to maintain speed and you're able to feel the control when you tilt the head mimicking the uh, actual control of the servos on the head you can feel the head wanting to go back to its place that is an indication of the stability of the head without that it is very difficult to control a teetering head auto gyro most auto gyros that are being built especially by Japanese uh, modelers uh, that are showing videos on YouTube are assisted by fly bars uh, in my opinion that is uh, there is one way to get a, a, a very uh, very good way of uh, obtaining stability on the rotor head but it, it takes away from the reality of the real auto gyros which are controlled via direct control they don't have uh, fly bars assisting the uh, the rotor for stability and so that is uh, what my uh, experiments and my models uh, try to approach uh, I try to stay as true as possible to the real uh, designs of the real aircraft but in small scale form thank you for watching